Crawfish season is just about over in Louisiana. If you're thinking that's a bit early, you're right, and it has a lot to do with the early start we got at the beginning of the season. Twyla's Neil Malonson takes us back to where we got a first glimpse of this year's big crawfish season to find out more. It's a rare moment on the Zahnbrecher farm here in Acadia Parish where it's just cloudy skies instead of the almost daily rains they've been getting. It's a stark contrast to January when the crawfish season got off to an early start under clear skies and 70 degree weather. Paul Zahnbrecher couldn't sack them up fast enough then. Even though the crawfish season was successful, six months later, they've simply run out of food for those crawfish. Anytime you catch more crawfish in January and February than you've ever caught before, you uh, sure that you probably going to run out of vegetation uh, in May and June. Rice and crawfish farmers like Paul Zahnbrecher anticipated that it would be an early end to the crawfish season this year due to all the abundant catch they were getting in January and February because of that warm winter. What they did not anticipate, however, was all of this torrential rainfall they've been getting on their rice crops for the past two weeks. The seemingly endless rain has caused an outbreak of sheath blight in rice. Zahnbrecher has already sprayed twice for this fungal infection on his 2,100 acres of rice to the tune of more than $50 per acre. Most of us are waiting, hoping to wait for that mid-boot uh, application, but if you see sheath blight before that, you're forced to spray early. And when you're forced to spray early, your residual time is only a couple weeks. So. You almost have to spray a second time if you want to hold the crop over for the return crop or, or in that case for a, for a crawfish stubble to be healthy. Following rice researcher Dustin Harrell around the LSU Ag Center research plots just down the road in Crowley, you can see where rice yields have already begun to be affected. This particular seed is sterile. And you can see that's probably what happened here. One benefit to the warmer weather and rain, Harold says the rice harvest might be early this year. Most of the crop is, is very representative of what we're looking at, uh, where the rice is just about to begin heading. However, we've had some rice that, that's been heading over a week now. And uh, in fact, we may see uh, harvest beginning in southwest Louisiana in early July, when typically the first reports we get are our mid to late July uh, first harvest. So this year is probably going to be about two weeks earlier than normal. Back at Zahnbrecher's farm, he's remaining optimistic about harvest for his fields, but worries some of his neighbors might not be so fortunate. While stocks of rice are at a surplus, our rice farmers are not, which is something that will eventually affect us all at the grocery store. I think you're on that, uh, the brink of that happening, especially uh, increasing the production costs, having to spray. Uh, Hopefully, uh, we're optimistic that rice prices have bottomed out. By the way, one of those fields you saw at Paul's Place is part of their 350 acres of Provisia rice, a new variety that helps control red rice. Resistance to the clear field technology is increasing, and so researchers there at the station in Crowley have been working on this problem. Paul showed me that using an old soybean herbicide, they've come up with a new solution that should be showing up in fields all across Louisiana next year. As you can see, no grass or red rice in the field. Uh, it's going to be a real great tool for, for us to use. Uh, every year we've been having more and more farms contaminated with what they call weedy rice, which is rice that's resistant to the new path herbicide and the clearfield technology. So this is going to allow us to change the mode of action in these fields and uh, eventually clean up these fields so that it'll give us other options in the future on what rice we grow there. Provisia just received an EPA label for use in 2018, so what you saw there is the seed crop for next year, so we caught this just as it's starting to develop in Louisiana fields. I should point out here that this is the same rice you're used to eating at home, so there's no change there. And guys, you know, of course, with all of this rice and all of this rain that, that's been mm -hmm. over all this rice, you would think that it would be, you know, at least somewhat beneficial, but it just got caught at the wrong time. Yeah, it's all about timing and so much in agriculture, and I know for our soybean growers right now, they've been hit hard. I think Jim Harper over there in Avoyles Parish, this is his third time planting his soybeans. Yeah, at least the corn looks good. Corn's looking great. Thanks a lot, Neil Malonson.